Hi, my name is Faye and I'm a building surveyor at House and Clark Chartered Surveyors. I head up our team of party wall surveyors and this week I wanted to talk about what happens when there is a breach of a party wall award. Firstly, there needs to be a party wall award in place. For this to happen, a building owner planning on carrying out works that fall under the Party Wall Act will need to have served a Party Wall notice upon their neighbour, the adjoining owner, well before they start their proposed works. The adjoining owner would have had to have dissented to that Party Wall notice and either appointed an agreed Party Wall surveyor or their own Party Wall surveyor to act on their behalf. The party rule surveyor or surveyors would then inspect the adjoining owner's property, carry out a photographic schedule of condition and agree a party rule award. Once the party rule award is served, the building owner has the legal right to commence their works without any further input from the party rule surveyors. The party rule award itself will have within it various governing points that the building owner and their contractors will need to consider and adhere to during the course of the planned works. A breach of a party wall award, put very simply, is when a building owner has not followed the award's wording and legal requirements. Two of the common breaches we see are to do with the timings of construction and the methods of construction. This is one of the most common breaches of party wall awards that we see. This is often a result of the contractor not following the working hours set out in the party wall award. Firstly, we need to be clear that the works described within the award are works which fall within the scope of the Act and are being authorised by the award. For example, the award may be related to excavating for foundations and as such we can only govern the working times for the excavations themselves. The remainder of the works, say to build the extension, are governed by the local authority and their normal working hours for construction sites. These are typically between 8am and 6pm on weekdays and 8am and 1pm on Saturdays. If a dispute is raised about works outside the scope of the party wall award, we would recommend that adjoining owners contact their relevant local authority. However, you will see that in most cases, the working hours documented within the award will align with the local authorities. If a contractor carrying out works documented within the award are working beyond the agreed timescales or perhaps working on Sundays or bank holidays, the adjoining owner should contact their party rule surveyor. In this scenario, it is likely that the party rule surveyor will have a strong word with the building owner and or their surveyor to ensure that their contractor is aware of the timings laid out in the award and make sure that they are taking those into account. If breaches continue after they have been identified in this way, it may be necessary to take legal action against the building owner. If you need help on this, we would be happy to advise. Sometimes adjoining owners are unhappy with the manner in which builders carry out notifiable works. One example of how a party wall award will set out how works are carried out is in relation to cutting into the party wall itself. It is common for an award to require builders to use hand tools to reduce the risk of damage to the wall, especially if the wall is particularly fragile. The idea is that using hand tools will reduce the risk of vibration to the wall, which will then reduce the risk of damage from those works. In excavation works, we can ask the builder to excavate using the hit and miss method, which means that the foundations are always partially supported at any one time. If a builder overlooks these requirements, it will increase the risk of damage to the adjoining owner's property. We would look to speak to the building owner and builder to set out the exact requirements in the award and make sure that they are aware that if they continue to work in that way, then they are opening themselves up to having to pay to put any damage right and the associated professional fees in dealing with it. This is often enough to make them think twice before carrying on. If you have any worries that the Party Wall Award is not being adhered to, you should first speak to your Party Wall Surveyor. Often, breaches are a result of misunderstanding or the builders not reading the full award. 
At Harrison Clark, we work with building owners and their builders to ensure they understand their obligations and how the work should be conducted. It is important to note that the award is there to protect both the building owner and the adjoining owner. If you would like to find out more about the Party Wall Award or any other matters relating to the Party Wall Etc Act 1996, please give us a call on 023 8155 0051. Thank you.